Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the Mozart Requiem cleanup video. Now, when I did my Mozart Requiem repertoire video, I promised you that I would sort of dig out the other ones that were sitting around and and get through them, just so that we can talk about some of the recordings that you mentioned and some of the ones I failed to mention, because you see, the problem with the Mozart Requiem, even though I don't particularly care for it, to be honest, is that it's everywhere. I mean, it's just everywhere. It's ubiquitous. I mean, it's just the world is just dripping requiems, Mozart requiems anyway, which is amazing considering that he never really even finished the thing. He only wrote pieces of it. But it's so popular. And it seems like when you think of like choral music um, and choral societies and, and things that are going to bring in the crowds, the Mozart requiem is like way, 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 way up there. So, yeah, I mean, whether you like it or not, if you collect recordings and if you collect Mozart, you're going to wind up with a bazillion recordings of the Mozart Requiem. And I certainly am eloquent testimony to that fact. So so let's talk about some of the ones that I didn't mention in the repertoire video, but which are very good and could have been in there. And because it's also another piece that unless you decide to be perverse... And we've talked about that too. Or you decide to use some weird new edition, or do, you, know, you do something that's a little, you know, out there. Uh, it, it, it tends to play itself and sing itself more or less. In other words, there are a lot of very good performances of it, and these are these are those. I mean, there's no question about that. They're all they're all good, and you can decide whether you want to hear them or not if you're a Mozart Requiem fanatic. At least most of them are good. Well, let's just see what we have here. Carl Bohm, remember him? Now, Carl Bohm was a Mozart guy, a major Mozart guy. He recorded all the Mozart symphonies, and he did all the Mozart operas, and he was did, did lots and lots and lots and lots of Mozart. He was one of his favorite composers, and, uh, well, of course he was going to do the Requiem. And this one is with, I mean, really, sometimes it's about the soloist. What a great collection of soloists. Um, Edith Mattis, uh, Julia Hamari, or Julia Hamari, if you want to do it that way. Vislav Ochman is a great tenor. And Carl Ritterbusch with the Vienna Philharmonic. I mean, you know, what's, what's not to like, right? It's going to be beautiful. And it is. It's a deep, serious, grave, German dismal, <laughs> you know, well, it's not dismal, but, you know, it's a requiem, right? It's not exactly jolly, um, but but a beautiful performance, big and modern style, right? Um, and, oh, it's just yummy. So so there's that one. Uh, stuff it over there for now. Then we have, I'm going to go to the opposite universe. Uh, William Christie with Les Arts Florissants. A beautiful performance with, let's see who's singing, Anna Maria Panzarella, Natalie Stutzmann, um, who's now a conductor and a very fine one, too. Uh, Christophe Pregardien and Nathan Berg. Uh, so that's, this is, oh, Monica, 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 no, Monica Huggett. Remember her? She's the first violin in Les Arts Florissants. So this is like major. Um, and it's it's a, a lovely performance coupled with the Ave Verum Corpus, which is always a nice thing to attach to your local requiem. You should have an Ave Verum Corpus floating around somewhere. Uh, and it's on Erato, and it's really one of the better period instrument ones. Then we have Giolini. Now, I inadvertently said that the Giolini had come out remastered, and actually it did, but on LP. Um, and and so I have no no purpose for that. And although we just did a talk about LPs versus CDs, if some of you want the thing on LP, it's out there on LP. It's a black, ugly LP cover with like a cross on it. But this is the Giolini uh, Philharmonia one. On this is on Seraphim Classics. I don't know if it even still exists. With Helen Donat, Krista Ludwig, Robert Tier, and Robert Lloyd. And oh, it's just terrific. It's really terrific. You also get oh, Exaltate Jubilate um, with, with Erica Kurt, the soprano, the Berlin Philharmonic under, under Beroslav Klobuchar. Oh, boy. As a coupling, as a filler. It's a nice filler. I mean, it's a wonderful work. So uh, the Giulini performance is like everything he did. It's soulful and and intense and beautiful and lyrical. It has all, all those good qualities. Now, he also did another one. And one of the problems with Mozart Requiems is that they, they keep popping up in places. They're in, 
you know, a lot of these things now, since the universe has gotten boxed up, and witness my recent talk on classical music that comes in clumps, well, here are, is Giolini's complete Sony recordings box, and in here is a Mozart Requiem. Wait a minute. I know it's up. There it is. Here it was, CD number three. There it is. I'm pulling it out. There we go. Um, and it's also with the Philharmonia. It's a Philharmonia remake. Um, it's slower and heavier, like all of his later stuff, with Lynn Dawson, Yard Van Ness, Keith Lewis, Simon Estes, the Philharmonia Chorus. So he did the remake. Um, it was one of his earlier Sony recordings, actually. Um, and I think you're better off with the earlier one, as you usually are with Giolini, because he just got slower and heavier. Sometimes better, as in like his Bruckner 8th and 9th and whatnot, but not always. So that's that. That goes in the Giolini box. Then we've got, oh, this sucker, yeah. Um, this is the Barenboim Mozart Requiem. Um, and it's coupled, oh, what was that? It's the front door. Yeah, who cares? Um, anyway, we have the Barenboim Mozart Requiem with a wonderful cast. Oh, my goodness, it's amazing. With Sheila Armstrong, Janet Baker, Nikolai Geta, and Fisher Dieskau. Doesn't get any better than that, and it's very exciting. I mean, the Dies Irae is just slamming, and, and it, 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 you know, the choral parts are terrific. It's, who is it, with the John Aldous Choir and the English Chamber Orchestra. Um, this is on EMI, and in this particular twofer, it's coupled with the Barbaroli Verdi Requiem, which we haven't heard in a while, have we? So uh, this is, this. I always like this one, I really do. I, I liked it better uh, when it was coupled, it came out previously coupled with the Bruckner Te Deum. A wonderful performance of the Bruckner Te Deum, so... That was really cool. And then finally, last but not leastly, there are the Colin Davises. <laughs> Colin Davis was was the Requiem guy. He just ran around depositing Requiems wherever he alighted uh, for some reason. And the earlier one, which some regard as the best, and I think I do too, even though um, it's not as well known as, as, as his later ones, is this one. It's in this twofer of Mozart great choral works. Um, and it's all with, with Colin Davis, by the way. And the cast in the Requiem, hang on a minute. Um, this is the Seussmeyer edition, by the way. I mean, I haven't talked about editions in this video, but I tend to prefer Franz Bayer, where, where we can get it. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There we are. Uh, oh, a very good cast. Helen Donat, Yvonne Mitten, Ryland Davies, Gerd Nienstedt. Um, with the London Symphony. And, you know, Colin Davis was another guy like Boehm, who was a major Mozartian. And so if you're, if you, you know, you can't, you can't argue with his approach to Mozart. It's always very, very good. Um, then he did another one here for RCA with the Bavarian, Bavarian radio forces from his time there with Angela Maria Blasi, uh, Mariana Lepovshek, Uwe Heilmann, and Jan Hendrik Rutering. Um, with Bavarian radio people. And then there's a bunch of other Mozart choral works here attached to it, which is actually rather nice. Um, and again, it's, it's very good. I mean, these are all good performances. They really are. So that's the second one. And then the last one he did was on LSO Live, which was licensed to Alto, a very smart move by Alto, by the way, because, you know, you get your Colin Davis Mozart Requiem. Um, I was going to say Verdi Requiem. Um, and this one is with a less well-known soloist, uh, Marie Arnett, Anna Stephanie, Andrew Kennedy, and Darren Jeffrey with London Symphony Orchestra and Chorus. And it's exciting. I mean, it's, it's a big, punchy, dryly recorded version of the Mozart Requiem. Um, so, you know, that's nice, too. But there you have it. I, I'm not going to get into this any further because we've spent a lot of time on the Mozart Requiem. Um, and I don't mind, of course, because the original impetus uh, for this was the, the tribute to my, my late you know, a colleague and, and partner in ClassicsToday.com, David Vernier, um, who was a, a devotee of the work and who knew, knew more about it than anyone in the universe and, and uh, you know, performed it and sang it and loved it and, and, and we all loved him. So I hope that this this series of videos on the Mozart Requiem um, is, is a tribute to his memory and also sort of covers the work sufficiently for the nonce. Of course, if new recordings come out now that I've sort of jumped in the pond of the Mozart Requiem, I'll 
probably cover those too so we can continue the discussion. But there you have it, a big clump of Mozart requiems. Go forth and mourn. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.